In order to effectively run your own in-ears when someone else is running sound, you need a split snake. Your band needs a split snake. Festivals famously have really short changeover times for bands and today my band is playing at Chocolate Fest here in Long Grove and I'm going to show you what we do ahead of time to make sure that we are prepped and ready to go and we can use our in-ears for our sets even when we're playing a festival. Let's check it out. Something that I recommend doing is advancing your stage plot and your input list with the sound company ahead of time. When we get to the venue, the first thing I do is I go straight to the sound guy and talk to him about our setup. Because we're running our own in-ears, I talk to him about our split snake and where they want that setup on stage. I also talk about you know, what our stage plot looks like, our input list, I go through everything with them just in case, because we found that from time to time, even when we advance our input list and stage plot, it doesn't always make it to the person who's running sound that night. In order to effectively run your own in-ears when someone else is running sound, you need a split snake. Your band needs a split snake. A split snake just takes all of the input that you put into it and splits them. The front of our split snake is labeled with where we plug in all of our inputs, and on the back there are two whips. One whip goes straight into our mixer, and then we give the second whip to the front of house engineer. Doing this is going to ensure that we are able to have full control of the mix for our in-ears, and it's going to ensure that the front of house engineers can mix the way that they want to mix. It also makes their job a lot easier because now they don't have to worry about mixing any of your monitors. Now, this is a lot to set up, so in order to make sure that we don't run into any hiccups and that we don't slow down the changeover between bands, we like to have everything set up ahead of time before we ever set foot on stage. We bring our own drum and instrument mics and we set those up before bringing the instruments on stage. Same thing with our vocal mics. And because most of the time we're using wireless mics, they're already wired up and ready to go. This helps the on-stage setup go faster, but it also helps make sure that our in-ear mixes and our recordings are as consistent as possible. Once all of the instruments are set on stage, We'll take an XLR cable from every microphone, whether it's a vocal mic or a drum mic or an instrument mic, and every DI box, and send that stage signal directly into the front of our split snake. Then from there, all we have to do is hand that extra whip to the front of house engineer. You can watch either of these two videos next if you'd like to find out more about how we record our live shows or about how we mix our in-ear monitors. Can't I promise? 